Sunday Sunsets, a miraculous ladybug fanfiction written and narrated by Miro Rose, with artwork for the opening and thumbnail image by Okara on Twitter. You can find a link to their Twitter in the description box. If you're new around here, hi, I'm Mira. I write and narrate Miraculous Ladybug fanfiction in an audiobook format. This is not a comic, it's a book read aloud, like an audiobook. Anyway, if you're still interested, keep listening and hit the subscribe button for more content. Adriana Crest, 19 years old, two years post Cat Noir. Adrian had a list of ridiculous things that happened as he grew into teenage dumb, but what he learned today topped the list. Marinette, I've got something to tell you. Hmm? His girlfriend made his shoulder a pillow, caressing him while the sun set. They were busier than ever, but he made sure to protect their Sunday afternoon as if he were feral. Do you know how Master Fu chose us? For the miraculous? She looked up, squinting, then settled back into the nape of his neck, their backs pressing into the metal of the park bench. No, why? It's because you helped him cross the street. Psh, no. It's because he knew we were destined to be superheroes. He gave me my ring because I helped him get to his cane. <laughs> what? Marinette straightened at the statement. Master Fu didn't need a cane back then. Right. It was a test to see who could help. See? We were destined. Out of everyone he could have given them to, he gave miraculouses to two teenagers who barely hit puberty? Come on, Marinette. You may have a point, she said, a yawn creeping onto her face. You may have a point. Could you imagine what it would have been like? What we would have been like if we didn't get the Miraculouses? Or if the Miraculous didn't exist in the first place? Adrian tightened his lips at the remark, glancing at the ground. Yeah, or if Hawkmoth was a good person. Still, it all worked out, didn't it? We're both in therapy twice a week. There's that. Tell me about it. It shouldn't have been us, she agreed. But I'm glad it was. Me too. He rubbed his thumb across her forearm. Me too. If it had to be anyone, at least it was them. As selfish as the trade-off was, Adrian wouldn't change a thing if it meant there'd be a timeline where he didn't get to be with Marinette. Really, the only thing we can do is grow up properly now, Marinette whispered. Her eyelashes tickled his bicep. I wish there'd been a way I could have kept you in school. You left, too. Don't beat yourself up. I was removed. You had to drop out. It's different. She'd given up her future to protect Paris as Ladybug. He was taken out at his father's request. Add on losing his birthright when the aggressed name was twisted into the Hawkmoth scandal, he couldn't so much as use a little nepotism to get Marinette an internship to put her on the right path. Either way, here we are. Sundays at sunset. Yeah. He kissed the crown of her head. Sundays at sunset. Ever think we'd make it this far? I'm surprised we're still alive. What doesn't kill you and all that? Marinette shifted, her hand on his chest. I never planned on this. Working full-time at your parents' bakery while trying to audition into a prestigious college after dropping out of school before your 16th birthday? 
Overscheduling yourself as an idol far past the legal limits in order to rebrand yourself as an individual after the mighty fall of your family? Eh, that's fair. Touché. <laughs> Look at Paris' as heroes now. What, you want to start a GoFundMe or something? I think a video of Cat Noir with a Venmo page would go viral. Please. Nobody's seen Mr. Cat ears in years. And that, and chances are, they wouldn't believe you're him. Fair enough. The miraculouses don't change the age of someone's face. Or how much I love a man in the mask. Rude. It was a compliment! I'm not the only man you've ever seen in a mask. Uh, you know what I mean, Marinette yawned. Hey, Adrian? Are you going to change the subject? I'm going to take a nap now. He kissed her hair again, rolling his eyes. They knew each other all too well. All right, I'll be here when you wake up. Thanks. Adrian tucked in his earbuds, but didn't play anything as they sat together. The wind and the leaves were a soundtrack in and of itself. And they'd been so busy, he didn't want to fill his head with other thoughts. This was nice. Life hadn't turned out to be anything like he expected. But he could always expect Sunday sunsets. Marinette. Shh. I love you. Me too. Good. You dork. There's nothing like a little validation every now and then, you know? Shh. Adrian laughed as she curled away from him, her head still on his shoulder. Nap time? You're a jerk. I love you. I love you too. Stop talking to me. Yeah. This was it. Just another Sunday sunset. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed that post hawk moth one shot. If you like videos like this, don't forget to give this video a like and a comment, as well as subscribe to this channel for more miraculous ladybug fanfiction. If you don't know what to comment, put Sundays at sunset. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!